Welcome back everybody to Double Productions Battling Pool 212. My name is Head. I'm still joined here by Zari. There will be a last game on to the mic. We'll, we are now into the single elimination stage of this tournament. It's a group to single elimination stage. If you don't know what that means, we start off with groups and the best two of every single group go on to the single elimination stage. And with single elimination, if you lose, you are out of the tournament. So the pressure is high. It's Bonk <laughs> against Elongate. Let's see which of these two teams is going to win and knock the opposing team out. Single elimination round number one. Zari, take it away. Yes, indeed. I must mention, there is a crab on both sides. Moving on. Um, <laughs> also, while you're looking at this, you can see that they've got very similar kind of amounts of range on both sides. They're very consistently similar comps, really. Um, I think, what, the only real difference is the, um, the machine on one side Oh no, no, there's a machine on each side. It's the literally just the splash and the ten attack, which both can fill very, very similar roles. But already two down on each side, three down uh, for Elongate though. That is not ideal, and that will mean that Bonk will be able to uh, keep pushing for at least a little bit longer. Louder Heights definitely is a, is a game where or map where it's a little bit difficult to start the push because the amount of defense you have to put off. It looks like Bonk finally has some room to play. And starting off their push, they got rid of the first checkpoint and are looking to get past the second checkpoint. The checkpoint are super close by, this map goes by super fast. They're still on the tower, they're about halfway done the checkpoint. And with that, checkpoint 2 has also been cleared and nobody from Elegate is really going into contest. Baneless got, or Baneless got a splat on Nord. It's going to help them a little bit to defend the tower, defend against the tower, but the tower is already at the third checkpoint. Boom coming out as well. Not exactly on the tower, but very close to it, forcing Genie off the tower, pushing them back a little bit. North going in with the machine, trying to get some more splats, and he hits someone, but it didn't get a splat there. Actually, the teammate Pure coming, help with the, coming to help with the tri slusher. Boom coming out for Elon Gate onto the tower to stop the push from Bonk. Bonk is somehow still pushing. Genie gets thrown on Tommy Echo, who was on the tower with that crap tank, but the crap tank wasn't enough to survive. And I think with this, the tower is finally being neutralized back into the center. Yes, but Bonk still have quite a strong presence in mid here. They are pretty much just making sure that they don't go down to these specials. Um, Elongate here might have used them a little bit early, but it depends on what they're able to get out of this. Already that's two down for Bonk here. That could mean that Elongate might get a push out of this. Um, they're already starting, but they're off the tar for some reason, which is not ideal. They've got to get to 31 here. Um, they've still got plenty of time, but after that first push from Bonk, they're going to need to be pretty consistent by this. And already that was three down for Bonk there. That is going to help Elon get push um, and continue to go towards um, the next checkpoint. Yeah, they get the first, the first checkpoint and are going straight into the second checkpoint and nobody from Bonk is very here is here to contest. Craptic is coming out, getting destroyed by the tri strike though. But Case is still on the tower, Genie helping them push in. It's also Merlin being in quite deep there with their machine. Just wait, or charge or, or the machine, just waiting casually. Booyah on the tower, to me Echo going in, gets put on Genie. Now Case is looking at a um, decent position, throws out the Tacticooter just to give himself a revive. If they really needed to, at least a very fast respawn. A couple teammates grab it as well. Echo gets one spell on, on Bailins, but that is gonna, but that Tacticooter is going to help them out a lot to quickly respawn and get back into the fight the tower has been neutralized they got it to 37 so they were very close on getting a lead but not close enough you have to get it past 22 to get that lead but i think chance 2 is here on their way and they have two players down on the side of bonk so this is a good chance for elongate to push in but case goes down by echo echo pushing even further vainly misses their spot and with three players down on the side of elongate bonk has this push secured 32 to 33 they were very close but not close enough Yes, yes indeed, Elongate is gonna need another push, but will they get the chance to do it, or will Bonk just keep the pressure on? It all depends on if they're able to stay alive, keep their specials and use them at opportune times here. Um, this, the, the crab able to find one kill, but one the, the machine on their side did also go down, so this might switch very quickly in the side of Elongate here, 
Um, and it does look like it's going to. They're going to get this push. And coming to the last 30 seconds here, this is going to be the push that decides whether or not they get this win and get the lead. But they have to stay alive. And that is not happening for Elongate at, or that for Bonk at the moment. They just keep going down one after another. And they will get lead. Ooh. Definitely very, took very them well a half done. minute. Yeah, they definitely took them a half minute there. Yep, yep. But getting the lead that late in the game is going to make it super difficult for Bonk to, to get so something about it. And they're still pushing in and get down on top, pushing it all the way to five. That's going to be super difficult for Elon, for Bonk because they have to push it all the way through. They're too far inside of overtime. That means they cannot make a single mistake. They can't even be off the tower for too long. Or you get neutralized and ends the game. Overtime yeah. is going to be a tough challenge. A lot of time for Elegate to start building up their special, especially with all the stuff the Bong is throwing in right now. I don't know how technical it is to really go in. Bay is going to the tower, but there's no one on it. The people quickly spotted a jump on the tower and secured it. Got a spot on Bane is being super greedy. Murder now using a blue bomb to go in and secure that game, oh. getting two spots in a row. But Kong into the tower! Yeah, misses the, the tower. jump! Somehow, Elongate <laughs> or Bonk was still pushing. It took them so long, but Elongate somehow came out victorious. But that could have been so difficult, so different if Bayonets could only get on the tower sooner, not giving everyone a heart attack here. Yes, just just a minor, minor heart attack there, because uh, <laughs> yeah. the tower was still moving. But they did have that kind of leeway there, since they got such a concise, push, like such a such a um, certain push there, so far in that um, they had space to move, they had space to work with. They didn't have to get them off before. I don't know. Uh, they were able to push the whole way to um, if they if they had a shorter push of maybe like I don't know 25 then they wouldn't have had the room to um, kind of play around there and not get on the tar uh, but they did have that extra um, that extra uh, points there that they built up so it did work out in their favor absolutely um, but yes that'll be the first game going to elongate very yeah, very good bonk game. bonk is also strong they are looking to get mm -hmm. into the game three but now they have to go split zones on brine water spring and that's uh that's always an interesting one and a very always very difficult or i uh, always have a difficult time to really judge who's gonna win on there because that's one of those maps where you see a lot of unexpected stuff happening mm -hmm. uh looking at the compositions that uh that those teams are running they can go either way and you know like we saw last game they definitely had a little bit of an offset here punk so or uh alien gate so hopefully they can for them they can do it again because uh it's gonna be interesting it absolutely is um and yeah again going on to brinewater springs those two both comps yet again very very similar um, and very like aggressive, but I would say that there might be a couple changes up, maybe, uh, because this is a very wide open map. Um, for example, with an E leader <laughs> on this map, you can really shut down the other team. But it depends on what they have, what they what they're kind of bringing to the table here, because. As we've been talking about constantly, Splat Zones is a lot more of a stationary, uh, slower kind of game uh, that can definitely um, mean that they don't really... You know, it's not, not a quick knockout. Not that we had one last game, but that's not really as much of an option. Um, so will that maybe favor Bonk if they have some kind of uh, different team comp? Or they might just stick with it. They might just both go hyper aggressive, fight it out in mid, and whoever wins pushes into the other one's spawn. Like, that can work. Just keep them off the zone for long enough, and the game's yours. So. I think that's usually what happens. Mm, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, but it'll also be interesting to see if either of them pull out a back line or uh, more mid lines. I don't know. Um, I mean, a back line here, like something on E leader, that is super strong because mm -hmm. you can you can almost be untouched because the way to get to the E leader, it just takes forever to get to <laughs> the actual E leader. I Meaning you always have free reign onto half the map just because you have a laser pointer and they don't. Yep, 
Yep, and also just the information that an e-leader can give you constantly because of just how open it is. They can see a lot of like uh, the left hand flank area. Uh, they can see people dropping into that very easily. They can see who's in mid at all times, even behind the blocks. Um, they can just kind of keep a constant watchful eye over everything, which can be incredibly helpful. Um, the one thing I suppose it is missing is if that if that e leader had a, like a like a cloud. I don't think a, a, they haven't done that yet. But if they, I think they probably will eventually give e leader a rain cloud. That would kind of make it a very like fully rounded splat zones option um, because at times it's not. It's not that panty, right? If you're the last one alive, you can't really stall very easily. No, um, it's, it's difficult, yeah. It is difficult, but it's still a, an incredibly phenomenal weapon for Brinewater Springs specifically. But anyway, we are going to be getting into the second game of the set. Bolt need to win this if they want to stay in this tournament, but it all it's all to play for. It's absolutely all to play for. Definitely. It will be a big upset, actually for Elongate if they win against Bong because Bong has some seriously strong players. I mean look at Echo. It was the it was one of the European one of the original European championships coming for playing for back squid. So that's a big feat. They've been on top of their game for quite a long time. You do see the E leader coming out for Elongate so they definitely listened and decided that the E leader is the way to play for it. It is the genie leader it is the world famous genie leader missing their first shot against <laughs> that Stamper, that's unfortunate. They had a shot again! No! No, you have to hit your shot! Go on, Genie! You can do it! I believe in you as Bonk switches up the lead from Elongate from going from 91. It's not a huge lead, it's, it's very small lead. But let's see if Elongate can get it back here as they have to eat it, like I predicted. That now, with the wave back out, hopefully they can do something. Yep, 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 that's what we're looking for. Don't, don't let us die, Genie! Don't let us die! This is not looking ideal for them. Um, Bonk is already down to 50 here. Um, there's that snipe coming out from Genie, but they do need to get to the zone. They do need to cover it, and slowly Bonk is still picking off players here. They weren't able to get that cap there, which is really not ideal. Um, and still, the uh, Bonk is still moving constantly into Elongate's space here, trying to keep them in spawn and succeeding at the moment. And these tri strikes are not enough against another set of tri strikes. This is really not ideal. Uh, they need to cap this zone, or else it will very easily be a quick KO. Yeah, definitely. I mean, apart from the fact that they have an either the bomb doesn't really, or even it doesn't really have a lot of uh, painters that are alive. Oh. Even with two splash marks and a machine, they could not outpay anything Bonk threw them. And also Bonk absolutely shredded every single fight, making this the first game three of the night stream. That's a first. Ladies and gentlemen, we're seeing it right here. Game number three. Place your bets. Even if you can place them anymore and see no, how can't. well these teams are gonna fare. A little update on the bracket whilst we wait for our next game. To start, Cherry Limeade won 2 0 against Scarman Domination and hashtag hashtag RR won 2 0 against The Hood. And please forfeit won 2 to 1 against ASC Sheru. So interesting matches happening inside of the popular Spelling Pool 212. Anyway, the next map mode will be coming up. It is Rainmaker, Mint, Meet Metalworks. It's everything to play here for Eden Gate. Wants to line. show that they are strong and can bring a big upset. And Bonk just wants to show that they're strong for a reason. So I'm very interested to see what these teams are going to bring. Because both were running very interesting weapon compositions. And hopefully they'll bring something unique to the table once again. Though, of course, the more we run into the tournament, the more meta it gets. But a man can dream. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. And I do find it quite funny that that was 100% an example of Commentator's Curse. We were hyping up that the E-Leader is such- and it is such a strong force on that map. But Genie, Genie, oh no. You need to hit your shots, my dude. Uh, it just was not, did not end up working out for them, which is unfortunate. But as you're saying, Game 3, we love a Game 3. We're here for a game three. Everything's on the line for a game three. We, I just don't know. Are they just going to go back to being hyper aggressive both sides? I, I'd, I'd expect so. 
Um, is it going to be practically the same comp as as we've been seeing, other than the E leader? I, I'd expect so. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I definitely hope they're gonna do it a little bit different. Um, I don't think that's they're, 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 they they can do it. I'm uh, it's in a lot because the genie was was the one player taking the longest to get the weapon yeah. ready. So um, that's you know, I was gonna quite mention that nah, that that's bullying. We are only about to strike positive vibes. We don't bully. <laughs> we don't bully. Well, we get out the. Ballpoint splatling. Let's see game here. Number three, Raymaker on Minsk Meat Metalworks. Both teams are going in straight for the middle, getting as much paint as possible. In, but it looks like Bong is definitely a team going for way more paint on the map than Eningate. Eningate is more keen in getting the middle and getting the first pop onto the Raymaker. Now, that ballpoint from Genie is going to be a little bit of a nuisance to Bonk because they have to get a whole ass crap tank out to get the splat, but they got the splat straight away. Echo with a very good crap tank gets two players there, meaning three players are down and it's just a crap tank alive. For Edongate, who also does a massive work, gets three kills on their own as well! <laughs> Meaning it's straight up reset it to square one! But because Edongate is all respawned and Bonk is not, Edongate gets a big old free Raymaker pop, but can they transition it into a free Raymaker push? It's gonna be difficult with Echo just roaming around there, getting an instant spot on the Raymaker, getting an instant spot on Genie with that inkjet, and this is going back and forth already. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The Rainmaker hasn't really moved, but they do have a pretty uh, straight shot here with Poke uh, kind of sitting beside the first checkpoint, already behind. They don't... The team doesn't know. They don't know. <laughs> they weren't aware. <laughs> and with that special, able to give them some mobility if they need it, but they're not able to utilize it. Um, and that is too darn for Bonk there. That is not ideal, but will Elongate be able to use this to actually make the push that they need? That's the real question here. Definitely is. Also, I want to say that we are almost one and a half minutes in the game, and no more than four total points have been scored on the board. Neither that the 97. I think it's a first on how long it took to score points in Raymaker. And there's still no more than four points! Oh the Raymaker is better by Bonk again. Three players are down, and it's just a Splatter Medic from Bane, but it's alive. And they're having a fight for their life as well. But they're defending a Raymaker, and he gets better. And this is finally the time where we score some more points. We're getting a whole 92. This is where we finally get some big points in. But that took so long for Bob to finally, to finally get rid of the first checkpoint. Two players are down from Elon Gate again. But there's still hope. There's still chance. Merlin going in. Gets a spot on the Raymaker. Very nice. Now he also gets the Booyam out to protect himself against the tri track Throws the Booyam onto the Raymaker. Doesn't get a splat with it, I think. But that's still a decent Raymaker or decent defense for the Raymaker. Now with a lot of more spots coming out, Genie with that inkjet. And the crap tank also almost at the ready. It's a very good defense here by Elon Gate. Yep, yep. They're not gonna let them push any further, at least not yet. Um, and with that, that is not ideal though, as just as I'm saying that, two players on Elon get go down. This is really not ideal, especially if Funk is able to get another good push out of this. Um, there's still two minutes, there's still two minutes, there's still plenty of time, but uh, Elon get really need to be careful here. And they are able to stop them from doing much more with this and take out that crab tank. Very, very good. Good play there, taking out two players and opening up mid just that little bit more so that they can finally get back into it again. Yeah, they still have to get the first checkpoint though. It's going to be a little challenge with everyone from Bonk now just stacking on top of the platform. But Bane is going in with the Raymaker. Gets a trade there unfortunately, but the two players are down for Bonk. So they can still go in. A genie with a beautiful, beautiful ball pushing so much into the Raymaker shield. Gets the Raymaker pop and gets a checkpoint here as well. It's 59 to 49. They have a big chance. They have two players down on the side of Bonk. So this is the goal of Genie. Three players down. It's just a machine alive. They have to go to the Raymaker and push in. They grab the Raymaker and they get the lead as well. Genie using an inkjet to do even more damage towards the opposing team. Somehow David gets all the way down to 10 point they're doing some things we don't even expect them to do and they're still in there by the way genie is going for the little flank with that ball point splatting doesn't give up anything he doesn't care look the amount of points they have they can definitely risk it with only one minute left into the game bane is getting caught out by the raymaker that's gonna sting a lot though for elongate because i think that push is just dead because of it the best they can now do is defense and hold mid but with Genie 7 on that ballpoint splatling the tries are coming out as well it's definitely something that is super super doable 
Yes, yes, indeed. And with that ink, uh, with that inkjet not ready, uh, Genie will be able to go on the defense very easily, but just has to be careful of stray Raymaker shots and make sure that they don't give them very much room here because they're trying to make that jump, but Genie is able to stop it before it happens. They need to get that Raymaker out of there and they need to get it back in the mid so that uh, Bonk is not able to make another push here. But Bonk is still keeping the pressure on. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I think the Raymaker does fall easy even that hard of a spot to defend it because it's super difficult for the opposing to reach. Now, Elon Gay is pushing the Raymaker back, but it's such a risky strategy if it goes bad right now. They will lose it, but with that, they somehow took a game. They they were not supposed to take with a big lead as well. Elon Gate knocked out Bonk in a in a fantastic, a absolutely fantastic two to one score. Nobody expected this to happen. <laughs> yes, especially not some of our uh, TOs as Genie is supposed to be on next. <laughs> so, um, not quite sure what, what's going to happen with that. I'm not sure he can commentate and play at the same time. But, well, I, uh, I, have, I have a newsflash. <laughs> I can commentate much longer, so <laughs> it's going to be you. Oh my um, goodness, I'm supposed to be streaming in about half an hour, but I can probably stick around for a little bit longer if necessary. But goodness, wow. what a what a set of games that was! What a set! Oh my goodness, so back and forth, so consistently, um, so consistently, uh, like changing. There was, it was all to play for the whole way through that, and oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, that what, was. Uh, what a game! What a that game. was definitely something I cannot wait to watch that back. But that one push for Elon Gate. Remember, they just had one push. Whilst Bonk tried several times, Elon Gate tried it once properly, and they actually went it all the way to ten. That is huge, and they weren't done. Like they were not done at all. I think actually getting the Raymaker on the left. Um. Pushing it on the left side, that was super nice because that gave them a very hard spot for Bonk to reach. I think going there, Bonk wasn't a smart strategy mm -hmm. because that made them it made it so difficult to uh, to reach that Raymaker. And that is exactly what Elongate needed to secure that game. We saw some wild plays from everyone. And I think that's a big upset. I think nobody expected that whatsoever. Yeah, absolutely. No one was expecting that game. Oh my goodness, but what a game! What a game. Incredible. Uh, yeah. But I do think we're probably gonna be having to switch over to a break here. As we were just saying, <laughs> Dini was supposed to be commentating next, but you're gonna be stuck with me for a little bit until, <laughs> until Genie gets knocked out. Um, but this is gonna be... That was your last set, uh, hat. Thank you so much for set. commentating. That was so much fun. Yeah, it's, we should commentate together more often. I had such yeah. a blast. But we, let me look at the amount of games we had today. <laughs> Unbelievable. And they were such good games as well. I can't. Oh, we're, not even at the, we're not even at the end yet. We still have like half a tournament to go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is how the games are already. It's only going to get even more hype as we go further. Oh my goodness. But yeah, this has been such good fun. I will look, definitely look forward to commentating with you again soon. Um, absolutely. Yeah, I can't wait for it to <laughs> have a lot of fun here on that pool. Uh, but as a spoiler, it goes to go to a break. So you already know my socials at Cavterhead everywhere. Follow me for funny moments. <laughs> uh, you, Zari, have good luck in the rest of the tournament. Hopefully, Genie can join in the second he comes out. Uh, yep. And also, good luck to, <laughs> to Dally, who will be on the mic next. So, watch out for those. Anyway, thank you so much for having us, and we'll be on a small break. We'll be right back.
Splatoon Stronghold. A stronghold for competitive Splatoon, providing resources to long timers and newcomers alike. If you're new to the competitive scene or still figuring out how to join, we've been getting started guide and plenty of other resources to help you in your journey. If you are a seasoned veteran, we still have plenty to offer. You can find and join tournaments as well as participate in our captain forum and find free agents and teams. Our mission is to make competitive Splatoon easily accessible to everyone. So what are you waiting for? Join the Splatoon stronghold today!